Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Diablo. It's been many years since we played Diablo, and I thought, you know what, I felt like playing some Diablo 3, especially with all the recent hype with uh, Diablo 2 Remastered, Diablo 4 in a million years, things like that. So I thought, well, why not? Uh, my spouse is playing it too, so I thought that would be kind of cool. Uh, we can join up and uh, do something once we're in our 70s. So, uh, yeah, Season 23 has begun. Uh, this also included the big, uh, I think it was Patch 2.7, where they uh, redid the uh, Companions. Uh, basically, they have uh, one slot more than us, because they have the Companion slot still, plus uh, a full uh, set of gear now too. And they can uh, get bonuses from Legendaries and uh, some set items and things like that now. So, like those gauntlets that you used to put on to, you know, spawn an extra... Uh, dude at the shrines, for example. Now, uh, if your hero, or not your hero, your companion has it, it'll automatically do it. So that's pretty cool. So here's some of the rewards you can get and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and create a season character. So uh, obviously, if you've never played Diablo 3, you have quite a few classes. You got Barbarian, Crusader, Demon Hunter, Monk, Necromancer, Witch Doctor, and Wizard. Uh, Crusader is the expansion they did, and then uh, Demon Hunter, or not, sorry, Necromancer, I think it was. Was it Necromancer? Yeah. Necromancer was a DLC they added. Um, but uh, we're going to go ahead and go Barbarian. We're going to do Seasonal uh, Hero. I'm not going to do Hardcore. We're way up north. Probably my internet will die and crap itself out. So, And I'm going to call him Bob. His name is going to be Bob. And look at that. Look at that nice pixelation in his nose and everything. Um, see, uh, Diablo 3 has kind of aged over time, but, uh, still a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and create Bob. And so here's your new start. And, uh, here we go. And, uh, we're gonna do, I'm gonna do the regular. If you want, you can go ahead and change the adventures and things like that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the regular Act 1. Uh, I kind of like that personally for me, just going through, especially since I haven't played for a very long time. I like to go through all the content, so... Do we even get a little somatic? Oh yeah, there. That's part of it too. Act one. I tire of the empty battles I once craved. I wander, outcast, while my tribe curses the gods who abandoned us. Our home is in ruins, yet I stand firm. Six days ago, the falling star struck the town of Tristram. The dead rose in its wake. What evil is this? Could it be what I have sought these long years? A foe worthy of my blade? That's a pretty cool intro. I forgot them. Okay, so. Oh, there you go. So you got your objectives here, the chapter seasonal stuff. That's actually really cool. I forgot they had all this stuff, so. It'll be fun. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how well I do here. It's uh, starting from fresh here, and I haven't played for many years. So if you're looking for somebody who's an awesome, you know, badass for uh, Diablo, you've met the wrong Bob. But, uh, yeah. You trist him. I seek the fallen star. Fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Captain Rumbrick, more dead are coming. Okay, so what we can do here for a second, I put this down. We'll bring this up. It might be annoying over time, but uh, we'll we'll bring it up. Basically, your error alerts. Uh, if you don't have enough, you know, uh, rage, things like that, my character will screen them out. Unlike World of Warcraft, where you actually have a, a, an option to disable that, they don't have it in this one. I wonder if it actually changed it. It sounded like it didn't actually do it. Did I not? No, no, it is. Okay. There you go. Will Cathal smile? I've never seen anyone fight like that before. Well, Guards, thank you. Open the gate. We'll find Leah at the slaughtered calf inn. Okay, so what do we have here? So we got available slots. So we got Hammer of the Ancients. Cost 20 Fury, direct frontal attack. Look at all that damage. I love it. Okay, we'll do that. And I think we have an option. You want to turn on elective mode in gameplay. I think that's probably already on anyways. Yeah. I think back in the day you had to set that, but I think it's like always there now. So here's our sla uh, stash. Uh, of course, we're not going to have anything here because uh, obviously we just started off. Seasonal is like a whole new universe, right? It's like you've never done this before. Here's the history of it. Many years, 
Villagers were too afraid to settle near the ruin. Are you Leah? Rumford said you survived the Fallen Star. I did, but it blasted my uncle, Deckard Kane, into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but... Watch out! But watch out! Oh, here they come. So just to prevent, <laughs> just to prevent them from rising again, should I be like able to destroy these guys? The dead will overwhelm us all unless something is done. I will send them back to their graves. I will save your town. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. Okay. And here's Leah's room. So there's We've been under siege for six days now. Uncle Deckard is still missing. Captain Rumford and the others are losing hope. I tell them not to lose faith. But if help doesn't arrive soon. Okay, and what about the other one? Is there a way to... Well, I guess we're... Where are we going now? I guess we're going out of here. I want to kind of see... There there must be a, a way to see the other lore, but I actually don't know where it would be under. Do, 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 do. You got your tab. What do you got? This is your chat. Oh, your collections, maybe? No, that's something else. Oh, well. I'll figure it out later if there is a place. Oh, quest and journal. Here you go. Journal. Leas. Okay. What about... Oh, here you go. For many years, villagers were too afraid to settle near the ruins of the cursed town Tristram. But as time went by, adventurers arrived to loot the old cathedral. And their business was profitable enough that new Tristram sprang up to accommodate them. Fewer travelers visit now, though, and the town is mostly populated by craftsmen and farmers. There you go. I just thought it'd be kind of cool to listen to those, so. How can I help fight the risen dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Darn. Your warriors will be avenged. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike <laughs> at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. They're attacking the barricades! Okay, quest. The red dot on the skull, the mini map points to the monster. Okay, so that sounds simple to me. So the wretched mothers. There. That's one of the wretched mothers. There are more of them in the ruins down yep. the road. So when you first start, uh, loot automatically gets equipped on you, so my new belt got equipped on me. So I don't have to worry about that at all. Right click to sign the... yeah. I guess he wanted us to try our new ability, huh? That's more on, like, something harder, obviously. We don't really need that quite yet. And as time goes on, I'll probably increase my difficulty while doing this. You know, I like to start off, you know... I like this. It's like one-shotting, going around, kicking ass, but... You might want to put on a harder difficulty as time goes on, but there's kind of a min-max you want to do with that as well, right? Because if you put it too hard, then it takes too long to kill everything, but you might not be efficiently getting EXP out of it too, right? So... You gotta, you gotta know your limits, but uh, I usually just leave it as default and then increase as time goes on. But when you do increase it, you'll get more drops and things like that. Well, they, they basically tell you what you'll get, so. There you go. You can actually do it in your escape as well, by the way. So, raise the difficulty. Oh, there you go. 70% extra gold, 75 extra bonus EXP. Yeah, why not? Let's go to hard right away. There you go. Now, you can't lower it because... Uh, oh, okay. So you can't lower it or raise it anymore because you've already done it. So if it becomes too hard for us, we'd have actually have to go out of the game and come back in, which uh, you want to make sure you have uh, a safe spot set, basically. Uh, but uh, now we get to explore. So if you've never played Diablo, this is a big part of it. When you're, you're young like me, a level 2 uh, barbarian... Takes a little longer to uh, get around. I think you can do, yeah. Oh, yeah, this little scroll event, I guess, here. You might get something out of it, you might not, to be fair. But they sometimes have little triggers and a little events that you can do. But yeah, it looks like we're going to be fine on hard anyway, so. And you can check out our. We have a guild here, too, by the way. So if you go to uh, this here, you can see our friends. So Juliet's on, and she's doing normal now, so. Damn, one shot at that. The hammer's great for this kind of stuff when you 
So then instead of one shotting, it takes two shots now. Okay, I think we're going the right way actually. We're good over here though. You got water over here. Bridge is down, obviously. <laughs> Don't know if that bridge is ever working or exists, but uh, the cool part about this game is things, uh, they're dynamic, right? So, like, sometimes there'll be, you know, oh, you can go somewhere and look at this. Power glows, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, so you move faster and leash. Oh, okay, so I'm just a bit more badass, huh? The task is done. These unholy creatures can rest there you go. Now. But like, for example, sometimes maybe this might be lit up and you can go into a, like a little sub dungeon and things like that. Like basically things are sort of uh, at random and the design of the maps change and things like that. Especially once you go in adventure mode and there's this Nephilim Rift stuff and things can change a lot. I can no longer deny the true nature of the evil that rises from the depths of the cathedral. Wait for a second until he's done talking. It is almost too horrible to admit the truth of it. It is the Dark Lord of Terror, Diablo himself, who plagues us. In new strength. Oh, that's not a that's not your quest objective. Oh no, it says Falling Star. Oh no, never mind. So I think the quest objective was further along. I thought that was it. So we got a uh, new ability here, Ground Stomp here. Uh, did we also get a passive? No, not till ten. So it's just basically saying Ground Stomp. You can also enhance your items over time. So there's ruins. So level six it starts. You also have the cleave, which is a fun one I used to use. This cleave, um, so we were using bash, right? You either can have, uh, yeah, generates, yeah, I like the cleave, I think. Less damage, but I think it does, uh, it's a bit more fun, I think, yeah. A little bit more AoE style. Are the fiends hoarding it? Okay. Oh, here you go, I got a little purple guy here. So this is when we're going to be a little weaker, but this is why you have this ability, too, for stuff like this. But, until we get up there, we're going to be a little weaker, obviously. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Not bad. And we'll get out of here. Okay, we'll continue on. So we got a new axe, huh? Look at this. This one does more damage, plus I think we had dual wield. Yep. So you do overall more damage, I think, with a dual wield. I think you do in this game. Yeah. I'm not quite sure how all the dual wielding and all that works, but I'm pretty sure it's... I don't think it's as complicated as some of those MMOs anyways. I think dual wielding is a uh... Tristram. Diablo himself once walked this place. Now oh, we're talking. We're kicking ass now. Oh, here we go, Queen. Oh yeah. Fury. Well, the one weapon alone was like a fifty percent increase. So. Oh look at that. We got another. Oh look at this. So yeah, look at that. Forty-two percent increase. And then offhand, does it show? Oh yeah, you hit Alt. It does the offhand on there. And then, uh, I guess we already have a torso one. I guess most of these are, like, regenerated. They're crappy right now, so that's fine. Okay, and then uh, we're, we're supposed to go to Nutrition. Okay. I have a chat with this Thank guy. Thank you for your help, but could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. Nor should she. I will help her find him. There you go. Come, let us search for your uncle. We'll need to open the cathedral first. The guards locked it up before they were ambushed. Rumford told me they fought their way back to Adria's hut. The key must still be there. Okay. So Leah is right now our, our temporary companion. There you go. Here, let me open the gate. Thank you. It's very nice of her. Adria oh. was my mother, but I don't know much about Ooh, yeah. her. Nice. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Deckard. What of your father? I'm told he was a great warrior who was lost when Tristram fell to the demons. Still recharging. There you go. So, like, you open that corpse, nothing might be there. Sometimes something will drop. I mean, it's up to you if you want to do that. You get bonus for killing a bunch of guys at once, too, and you can increase your bonuses and kind of fun things like that. Sort of those multipliers you get in those old arcade games. 
Look. Your mother had her secrets. People said she was a witch, but I never believed it. Here's the captain, not doing so well, it looks like. I've gained new power. Oh, I've gained new power. Here's the key and my mother's journal. What I've seen of it is disturbing. I want to know more about her, but that can wait. We need to save Uncle Deckard first. I will go. Stay here and learn what you can. Thank you. Aiden came to me last night. I suspected what was lurking within his troubled heart. I consoled him as best I could. Regardless, wherever he's headed, hell will surely follow in his wake. The shadows close in on Tristram once again. But like Aiden, I'll be gone before they fall. There we go. Okay. And don't forget they might get they'll get harder over time as well, because as I'm leveling, um, Everything scales too, so they're they're sort of leveling too, if I recall. So, basically, everything else will get more difficult Another as well. Oh, look at these guys! I didn't fight you over here. Poor soul, hanging there. <laughs> hey, it seems better to be dead, dead than these guys kind of dead. Tristram Cathedral. The fallen star lies within. Well, there, figure it out then. There you go. Work our way over here. So there's the this fallen the star. star fell. Looks like I can't do much right now. I gotta find another level. Damn, look at their health on these guys. Woo! Hopefully we get lucky on some drops here soon. There we go. Not ready yet. We'll get there eventually. Here's our little 20 kills and oh I wanna get another one. They're too spread out yet. Let's see. The ancient strength. So you get a good chunk of EXP for that, so. Oh, we got level 6, right? So we got the new rules for our skills. So what's the skills one? S. Yeah, here you go. So does Cleave have one? Not till 9, but Bash had one. So freezes them, yeah. But I like the Cleave, so I'll wait on that. And uh, the hammer. Oh, does the hammer? Oh, we can't now because we're in combat. Oh. You're just breaking them up into even more little parts. Oh, we got Ren now. Oh, Ren was an awesome ability, I remember. Yeah. Yeah, I liked Ren. It was a nice AoE, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. I think that's one of the, the nicer things later on in Endgame, too. You can get Ren popping up all the time. So you do, like, Wind, Wind Fury, I think it was, I was reading. And then you do Ren and a bunch of other stuff. But fury. basically, it's, you know, a big part of it. Obviously, I'm going more... You know, multi-target now, so single-target stuff would hurt a little bit more than normal, but it's all right. Okay, let's see how we're doing here. I guess we're just going for a walk wherever you want to do. You can look for every nook and cranny, or you you just keep going until you actually find the right spot, and then go there, and whatever you like to play. There's always going to be people who will min-max everything, but I'm definitely not one of those guys. I think this... Oh, yeah, it does hurt. I was going to say, I think they hurt. Looks like there's nothing in here unless you want to break these guys. <laughs> I feel like we kind of hit the uh, the dead end here. Okay, let's go and, uh, well, there's more over here, or we go over here. Whatever way you think might be potentially the spot. That was obviously a dead end, so. 
I'm gonna click the villager. Look at that. I'm trying to click him. It won't work. I'm like in a... I, I, I'm in a glitch position, apparently, where it would not let me click him. There you go. It's another one. Same idea, I guess. Oh, double the resource regeneration. You get these little bonuses when you're doing stuff like that. It's kind of cool, actually. Fun little... It's just fun little... Gimmicks and stuff that just makes it more enjoyable. I need fury. Oh, here we go. Oh. Okay. I forget, can you pull like a big chunk of it and kill them? I forget if they run away or not after a while. They might not, to be fair. So if you, you're not going to take too much damage, you're probably better off, you know, kind of doing that. What did we get here? Oh, yeah, look at that. That's better damage on that one. And then we can flop to that one. There you go. Well, that one's better, apparently. Slightly. I think about Ren might be an AO oh, bleeding. Oh, it's bleeding over a certain second. So you you apply Ren once. That's it. You don't keep doing it. And that's actually the elective mode. That's nice about it because you got a slot here. Let's just say you don't use the ground slot. Well, you can put Ren here instead. Normally you couldn't uh, without that elective mode that we enabled. But uh, or I think it might be just naturally enabled all the time now. But back in the day, it wasn't. Which and I'm cursed. Once the captain of King the Oryx army, I left only to honor my land and my king. No man has a greater love for his king than I had for mine, even as I drove my blade through his dark and corrupted heart. <laughs> I forgot Rend was um, a dot damage uh, AoE, so that kind of makes sense why it would work well with Whirlwind, because uh, you can apply Ren while Whirlwind, uh, Whirlwind is like a constant damage, where uh, the rend is a dot, so you just you apply it once kind of into the group you're fighting and let it do its thing. So this is a great example of, uh, tab for that one. Of, you know, hitting a dead end, Not obviously. Weapon racks are kind of useful, because I think they always pretty much drop a weapon. <laughs> so when you're low level and even a gray weapon is better than, you know, what you have usually, it's like, okay... Sure, why not? Let's see. No, that one wasn't actually good. So we're hitting lots of dead ends here. I keep hitting the wrong buttons here. What do you think now, right, I guess? Actually, it could be down here too, to be fair. But uh, yeah, as you get way, way higher level, things are uh, a little bit faster. You move much faster. You kill things faster. Um, the world is a little bit more like we're, we're, right now. There's like hardly any creatures. The world fills up a lot more denser as well. Like it changes quite a bit. So if you know, oh look at this, this is our first little this champion group. They're just wallers, thankfully. Go. There you go. First little champion group. Got a blue sash here. Let's see. The, there you go. A little extra toughness. Doesn't really do much for us. You can we'll swap it out for fun if you want. You get more on the recovery. It seems like recovery might not be a bad option right now anyways. So um, I don't think it really matters too much. So Crap. Are we... Uh, let's hope this keeps going here. We might have actually hit a dead end. Please kill me. I don't I don't want to change. Well, I guess so you can't kill him till he changes. So much for, you know, offering him a quick death before he changed. Okay. I think we're getting there, my friends. Being a pain in my butt, buddy. Oh, 
There you go. Checkpoint. Oh, minions, stay back. 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 There's Decker Kane crawling away. Oh, damn. The skeleton Kane. The power of the fallen star awakened me. And soon all will suffer as I have suffered. Gods, bring me his bones. There you go. Kane, I will save you. Help! Help! I need fury. There you go. So we could fight this guy. If he does like a big move, then you can hit your number one too. I don't see him doing special moves, but. I think he did one originally, but he's just kicking me, so it's not a big deal. Well, he's a little stun him for fun. Oh, don't forget to apply Ren once in a while. There you go. Look at that. What's this one like? Not really much of a one-hand spear, right? So it still works, but not much of a damage increase. Oh, thank you. But why did you risk yourself for me? I have need of your knowledge, Decker Kane. Leah will be happy that you live. <laughs> I learned of this secret passage through old maps. Look all the found. swords everywhere. Ooh. And there's a Must chest. Discuss the fallen star. Follow me to Tristram. There you go. So Tristram we go. Ooh. I have honored my pledge to Leah and rescued Cain. All that stands between me and the mystery of the fallen star is the Skeleton King, whose return has again darkened Tristram. The Skeleton King. Dun 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 dun. Okay. Hey, Leah. Uncle, you're alive. Thanks to you and your friend here. Time is running short. What can you tell me of the fallen star? Not much, I'm afraid, though the prophecy of the end days surely points to it as a sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle, not more of your stories. <laughs> All that matters now is that you're back. I've gained new power. Oh, damn. So, yeah, let's talk to him. The skeleton king was once our beloved lord, Leoric. He was driven mad by Diablo's evil. He lost both of his sons and his very soul before he was finally defeated. Now it seems he's risen to plague this land once again. A sad tale, but I seek the fallen star, and he stands in my way. The key to defeating him lies in his old crown. Seek out our blacksmith, Hadrig. He knows of its whereabouts. Leah. You should not dismiss the signs so lightly. Do you not believe the evidence of your own eyes? Horrors have visited Tristram before, and it endured. But what of the texts? The Zakarum tomes warn of a falling star. The Herodric scroll spoke of the dead rising, and the Lord of Lies. The prophecy of the end days says that at the end of all things, the first sign shall appear in the heavens. Yes, you've been telling me about the text since I was <laughs> eight years old, Uncle. I just don't think we should read too much into them. There you go. See, there's extra talk. Who are you? I am the last of the Herodrim. I couldn't always claim this. In fact, if I had turned to the Herodric teachings sooner, Diablo could have been stopped before his reign of terror began. You cannot believe this. When the first signs appeared, I did nothing. I had shrugged the old tales off like they were so much fantasy. And Tristram, no, the world has paid dearly for my arrogance. I have tried to make up for my failings. Leah and I have spent her lifetime scouring the world, collecting pieces of the prophecy of the end days. 
If I can decipher it, we will have the key to defeating the Lords of Hell. Hmm. <laughs> uh, you adopted the niece? You and Leah seem to care much for each other. I do not know what my life would have been like had I not raised her. Oh, it must have been difficult for Leah, following an old man on a mad search for the secrets to defeating the lords of the burning hells. <laughs> but though she has seen her share of mysterious things, she is still unsure of my quest. I, I can understand. She has never seen anything like Diablo and his brothers. Check out this one, uh, Prophecy and End Days. The prophecy of the End Days is contained within the Herodric tomes I inherited from my ancestor, Jared Kane. It is a warning to those who could interpret it regarding Hell's ultimate invasion of our world, written by many different people throughout history in many different lands. All known versions of the prophecy are incomplete. I have spent a good part of the past 20 years trying to complete it. I am certain it holds the answers to defeating the Lords of Hell. Yeah, lots of little lore here. And then here's the Mad King. Diablo drove Leoric to madness. Leoric resisted Diablo's attempts to possess him, but the effort left him weak and confused. When his son, Albrecht, was kidnapped to be a vessel for Diablo, it destroyed any sanity Leoric had left. And after he became the Skeleton King? He commanded an army of the dead deep within the cathedral, finally serving the Lord of Terror he had resisted while alive. Many adventurers tried and failed to slay the Skeleton King. It was left to Leoric's eldest son, Aiden, to finally kill the monster his father had become. There you go. Uh, Adria's death. How did your mother die? Well, details are hazy, but I know that Adria was obsessed with chasing the arcane. She knew she could never raise a child. Uncle Deckard believes that the madness and horror of her life finally caught up with her. And then, uh, life with Cain? I spent most of my life traveling from place to place with Uncle Deckard while he did his crazy research. What does your uncle seek? He's convinced that the forces of hell will invade our world and bring about the end <laughs> times. All these years, he's still searching for a way to stop this apocalypse. What did you learn of your mother? She wasn't from Tristram originally. She came here during the Troubles. She was in search of something, but I'm not sure what. She reminds me of Uncle Deckard, obsessed with the war between angels and demons. Nice, there you go. Yeah, I'm kind of going through the lore stuff a bit here, and, you know, I wanted to go. This is the brawler, so, uh, uh, brawling, is that just Some talking? Heroes are fighting each other in an area near here. Want to go? Yeah. Oh, no. and uh, you didn't hear about it from me. <laughs> I just want to go through his dialogue of it. Damaging your armor or weapons? Uh, that won't happen over there. In fact, no one even dies. Disappointing, really. <laughs> Off you go. There you go. So you'll get sent here, and then you can go back, or I think you can. I don't actually know how you get ba back. Is there another spot? Oh, you just go back here. There you go. I guess you can teleport out. Actually, do we even have the ability to teleport all the time now? Is that a... Holy hell, that is a... We were on top of it, though, but yeah. Oh, okay, you used, to, you used to earn that. You didn't get that right away, but I guess now you do get it right away, so that's kind of cool. That's really cool. Anyways, uh, we weren't quite done here, by the way. <laughs> I'm just having fun and clicking all the buttons now. I have some new items that I'm certain you'll love. Actually, do we even get them usually normally? Yeah. So you can buy better weapons from these guys too. I forgot all about that. There might be actually some better ones than we have. We have enough gold for it. So what do we have? This one actually increases damage. That's for once is nice. So what we can do is, oh, we don't have a blacksmith yet. So you either vendor it all or, yeah, vendor it, I guess. I worked my hands to the ball. Oh, yeah, here you go. But basically, uh, if you start off and you got a little bit of gold, that's not too bad. But now, like, you know, obviously... Uh, things are probably not worth that much anymore. Uh, and then you can just sell things too. So when you start out, just, you know, just vendor it. There you go. Just telling us about it. 
I'm just gonna get rid of it all. There you go. And then later on, uh, you'll you'll just break it down for materials itself, which is really cool, because uh, you can you can break them quite down a lot, and then you'll get a lot out of here. But it looks like they unlock all the stuff here. Here's the uh, artisan one here too. That's cool. So talk to her. So. Jendo, how sweet of you to ask. My people, the Vetchin, are nomads, always traveling, looking for the land we might settle. All of us have the sight, but few have it as strong as myself. You know, men have always pursued me for my visions. <laughs> well, for things other than my visions. But everyone wants to know what the future holds. My future holds death for those who <laughs> seek to do this world harm. Always with the fighting and the battle cries. Can't you stop and enjoy the warmth of a good woman? Oh my. The nature of the world. The world is constantly renewing itself. Eternally playing out the same events over and over again. We can merely play our parts. Must you always speak in riddles? I speak clearly. Do not blame me for the state of your mind. <laughs> so there you go. So you can use her to craft stuff. Uh, basically, it's for enchanting, so you can enchant stuff in here. No way. Um, only mi okay. Yeah, you can only do the later on stuff. You can you can even re-roll things, change your looks, do some dyes and stuff as well. I don't know if the dyes cost any gold. So let's see what happens here. Oh, this item can't be dyed. Oh yeah, because it's like not armor. So you got your armor, which I mean, it's just it's a piece of like ripped loincloth on you. But there you go. You can dye it up there. It'll cost you this much. Each dye has its own cost here, but it's just it's more of a fun thing, obviously, right? But uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool uh, NPC. And then you have your blacksmith here, which will have a quest for us. Blacksmith. Deckard Kane said you could help me find the crown of Leoric. Not now. That's my wife. She's locked in the cellar like all those who've been bitten. I'm to put them all down. But how can I kill my own wife? <laughs> it is regrettable, but it must be done. I will help you. Thank you. I will put your wife down. It's like that that's a really nice uh, you know, gesture there for helping. There you go. Here, wifey, wifey, wifey. Time to put you down. My friends, I'm sorry. This must be done. There you go. Just like bring them around here. There you go. My love, forgive me. Oh, damn. I didn't even get my thing down. There you go. I couldn't have done this without you. No problem. I'm in your debt. My name is Hedrig Eamon. Hedrig, I need your aid. I must find Leoric's crown. I can help you there. It's buried with his chancellor, my grandfather. You'll find his tomb in a cemetery in the Weeping Hollow. And if you see my fool apprentice out there, tell hmm. him to get back to town. His apprentice has been missing for a long time, by the way. There you go. Back to swords. Oh, no, that other one was a pull arm too, huh? I guess we're just going to the pull arm. Gemery, I kind of want to do both of them, to be honest. Let's do that for fun. There you go. <laughs> Looks pretty badass. And then what do we got for a vendor over here? One of these, I thought, maybe it's the next act. I thought one of them gave rings, but that might have been another act, to be fair. But, uh, or not gave, but had rings, I should say. But, uh, yeah, I think we'll leave it on this spot here, and then we'll continue on uh, as we go on through the gate here, and uh, we'll keep going. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that fun stuff, and uh, we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.